All right, I'm Dr. Christopher Bunt, and I'm a fisheries research biologist with Biotactic. 0428. We're at the Binbrook Reservoir, the headwaters of the Welland River. Um, it's September, middle of September, and we're conducting the second phase of our mark recapture study that we started in June. So in June, what we did was we tried to mark, individually mark as many fish as we possibly could with external tags released them back into the lake and allowed them to mix with the population of untagged fish between June and September. And now we've come back and we're doing uh, another two week recapture session. Four, three, five. The fish are moving. We're not catching some of the things we caught last time. The relative abundances are, are changing as the season differs. We can learn a lot from this study in terms of fish management, species composition, and how many fish are actually in the lake, and more importantly, how to manage that fish population. So there's two from the magic stump. One of the species that we were really trying to count in here were walleye and northern pike. Um, we knew there was a lot of bass, and we knew there, there used to be a lot of crappie, and then it seemed that the population of crappie dropped off, but our data showed the exact opposite. There are a lot of crappie in the lake. It's a great lake for crappie fishing. There are trophy white crappie, 16, 17 inch crappie, as big as they get. The pike population is, is very weak. There are very few pike. We tagged three pike, and we caught one back. We tagged three pike in June, and we got one back in September. So we got one third of the population of fish we recaptured, which tells you that the population size is probably really small. The bass population is thriving. There are lots of big bass, there are lots of little bass, so there's recruitment, um, and they're all really, really healthy fish. They're in really good condition. My recommendations for the report are gonna be really consistent with the original recommendations back from 2005, and that is that this lake is a, a trophy bass lake and a trophy crappie lake, and it should be managed for those species. Stick with what's working. Big bass, beautiful crappie.